Okay, good morning, students. Welcome to uh, basic electrical laboratory lectures. So it is uh, experiment number two, guys. This video is applicable only for Saptagiri College of uh, Engineering students. So those who are studying under VTU. See what is the experiment? Measurement of resistance and inductance of a given choke coil using three volt meter method. Okay. So they will give a coil. The coil is having resistance and inductance. We have to identify how much resistance and inductance will have at a different tapping position. So that can be uh, calculated by using three volt meter method, three ammeter method, and three watt meter method. For your syllabus, three volt meter method is introduced. Okay. So this is the circuit diagram. This is the circuit diagram. So. Phase is connected to the auto transformer. See this from year to year. This part is called auto transformer. See the purpose of auto transformer. We can get the required voltage, okay, for it for to conduct the experiment. At what voltage you should run the experiment? That voltage we can get from the uh, auto transformer. Simply we can say it is a variac. If input is two thirty volts, output we can get. 0 to 230 volts according to our requirement how much voltage is required for you that we can get it by varying this now see can you see this arrow mark by varying this arrow mark we can get minimum to maximum voltage so this uh, auto transformer one end is connected to the external resistance external resistance and rear start uh, resistance or rear start rear start another end is connected to starting of the choke coil so choke coil is nothing but a practical inductor. High ideal inductor will have only inductance. There is no resistance. Ideal inductance does not have resistance. Practical inductance will have resistance, internal resistance. Every coil, every conducting material has its own resistance and inductance. Okay. So now look at here. Uh, R and L internally both are uh, connected in series. So choke coil another end is written back to the supply. So I connected one voltmeter across the transformer, one voltmeter across the external resistance that is rear start and one voltmeter across the choke coil. Now this is the circuit diagram. This diagram you should write it in lab test. Don't write uh, this experimental setup and all. Okay. If you write this, that is not recommended. You have to write only the circuit diagram. Okay. Then for this particular diagram, how to do the experimental setup. Okay, what are the components of the auto transformer we have used? We need auto transformer. How many voltmeters we require? 1, 2, 3. 3 voltmeters we require. And 1 external rheostat we require. And choke coil we require. Okay, totally one auto transformer. So I have taken auto transformer. Choke coil I have taken here. External resistance I have taken external rheostat. And voltmeters are required. Voltmeter 1. So this will be V1 and this will be V2 and this will be V3. Either you can use okay multimeter or another voltmeter. So whichever is convenient, you can use that. So in laboratory, uh, we have explained with the multimeter. So use multimeter only. Let we can do the connections according to the circuit diagram. See, this is called auto transformer. Okay and the power plug it is connected to the power plug see guys while doing the connections okay switch off the supply okay don't connect the power plug to the socket so isolate the power plug from the supply let do the connections once every connection is done completely call the professor or lab instructor if they said yes it is correct then you can with their permission you can switch on the supply then you can apply the voltage and follow the procedure. Let us look at here. This is called a variable knob. Can you see this here R1? Now it is at 0 volt. By varying this in clockwise direction, by varying this, you can get different voltage at this point. Okay. So input will be 230 volts. Output is available at here. So this voltage will be from 0 to 250 volt. We can take it by varying this knob in a clockwise direction. How much is if you require 400? So 0 is here, 250, 100 somewhere comes here. 
So wear it till there. So you see the arrow mark. Once the arrow mark stop the corresponding voltage, that much voltage available here. Then do the corrections. See this arrow mark is there now in the circuit diagram. That arrow mark is phase. That arrow mark is phase. So that phase should connect to the where it is connected starting of the rheostat. That phase is connected starting of the rheostat. Guys, before doing connections, you have to set the external resistance value. So that will be given in the question. Okay, you have to set it for. We need now in our lab we have zero to two hundred ohms per two ampere range rheostat, variable rheostat. If I give, if they give hundred ohms or one twenty or one fifty ohms, whatever the resistance value they have given, you have to set it the uh, resistance value by varying this now. So this is a metal rod. By keep on varying this, okay. By varying this now, you can set the desired value of resistance. What they ask in the question. So while measuring that resistance, you take the multimeter, take the multimeter, and put at these two terminals. This is one terminal, top terminal and bottom terminal. Put at this terminal. What they ask? If they ask the 100 ohm resistance, vary this. Once it reaches 100 ohm, stop it. Okay. So got it. So keeping this resistance value is very much important. This is the first step. Once the resistance is uh, properly adjusted, call the professor and then do the corrections. Okay. This is very much important. See. Whatever the resistance they are given, you set it already. That is fine. Now, how much voltage should apply to the circuit? That will also be given in the question. Okay. If not given in the question, you have to apply your own voltages in such a way that in such a way that this applied voltage by set and resistance, the ratio will give current. That current should not exceed beyond 2 ampere. That current should not exceed more than 2 ampere. Like that, you should apply the Voltages. If they are not given voltage values, if they give a voltage values, apply those voltages only. So whatever the voltages uh, given in the question, that will be within safer limits only. Okay. If they are not given, you have to apply your own voltage. Such a way that the ratio of voltage by the set and resistance should not go beyond two ampere current. If this rheostat cannot withstand beyond two ampere current, if you pass. If you apply more voltage, it becomes more than 2 ampere. Then the wires all will get melted down. Okay, finally it will be out of order. So these two are stands. Okay, let we can do the corrections. See, observe carefully. Voltmeters are there now. First you don't do voltmeter connection. Okay, without voltmeter do the connection. See now, where it is connected? Arrow mark is connected to your star. That arrow mark is phase. Is connected to where rheostat starting point. Is connected to where rheostat starting point. So I connected to the rheostat. Okay, then in inside resistance you have set a certain value, and outside of the rheostat, rheostat another it is connected to where choke coil starting. So this point will be starting, and this point will be end. This will be end. This will be start. Okay, so rheostat another end is here. Look at here, another end is here. Is connected to the starting terminal. So this is entire coil, choke coil. We have four uh, tapping positions: one, two, three, and final one is end tapping positions. Which tap position given in the question? That tap position you should select it on the particular uh, choke coil. So suppose let us assume if they given tap three position. So end position is. End is this one only. If they given tap three, you take connections from here. Okay. So from this, where it is connected, tap three is connected. Where it is connected, back to the supply. Okay. So tap three position I am going to take. So I am taking tap three position. So tap three position is connected back to the supply. So connected to the neutral. Understood, guys? How the circuit uh, connection is done? So this is a uh, tap three position, tap one, tap two, tap three position. Understood? So this is the basic circuit. Connection is completed. How you should do? Phase to connect. Phase of the auto transformer connected to starting of the rheostat. 
Rear start finishing and connector starting of choke coil. Choke coil tap portion to return back to the supply. Now you have to connect voltmeters V1. Voltmeter V1. See phase of the voltmeter is connected to common. Phase of the voltmeter is connected to common. And neutral is connected to and neutral neutral I use black wire black color neutral is connected to 300 volts neutral is connected to 300 volt see just I connected this voltmeter across these two pins that's it now where this voltmeter connected across rear start uh, rear start two ends see now okay. Rear start starting end is connected to common of voltmeter 2 and rear start another end is connected to 300 volt supply. Rear start another is connected to 300 volt supply. Next here you can use multimeter. Why I am telling use to multimeter means the voltage across the choke coil is very very less. But what voltmeters we have in laboratory from 0 to uh, 100 volts the scale is non-linear. Okay, so calibrations each digit by digit not given. They given direct range 0, 40, 80. Like that they given. So very difficult to notify small readings because of nonlinearity. So therefore, don't use voltmeter. Don't use voltmeter. Use multimeter. While using multimeter, the two pins will be available. Okay, one is common terminal, another will be voltage terminal. So in the multimeter. Knob will be there, rotating knob switch will be there. So keep that switch in AC voltage mode. Remember, keep the position in AC voltage mode uh, around 750 volts. 0 to 750 range will be there. You can keep 250 or 750 volts. Now, you connect to this pin, red pin, you connect it to starting of the uh, choke coil, starting terminal of the choke coil. Red pin is connected to starting terminal of the choke coil and the tap 3 pin tap 3 pin is connected to the okay another terminal of the multimeter another terminal of the multimeter so got it so this is the connection then how to do the uh, how to take the readings so suppose if the multimeter is not available okay connect common to starting and connect to 300 to tap 3. That's it. Okay. So, I recommend you to don't use this. Because we are getting very less voltage. Okay. Fine. See now, how to do this experiment. So, rig up the circuit. Okay. As per circuit diagram. So, before that, set the external resistance what is given in the question. Okay. Make the correction as per the circuit diagram. Okay. Then get checked by the professor or instructor. Later, switch on the supply. If everything is okay said by the professor, then switch on the supply. Connect the auto transformer. Power plug will be there. Power plug you can put it into the socket. Then switch on the MCB. Supply is available at the output of the transformer. By varying the auto transformer. How to vary? They will give voltage values. V1, V2, V1 values we give 3 trials. If we give 100 volts, vary this knob, apply 100 volts. Note down V2 and V3 readings. Repeat again. Vary next another trial voltage. Vary further, that another voltage will come. Note down V2, V3. Vary another trial. If it is 3, 200 volts, apply that voltage. Note down V2, V3. Rest everything is calculations okay so in tabular column okay you are note down in v1 v2 v3 v1 three trials is given in the question you have to note down while doing the experiment v2 and v3 readings uh, external resistance also given in the question rest everything is you have to calculate you have to calculate current and uh, impedance of the coil resistance of the coil inductance of the coil quality factor of the there is a quality factor Quality factor is nothing but the ratio of energy stored in the inductor to the energy discharged or dissipated over one cycle. The energy stored per cycle to the energy discharged in one cycle. That ratio is called a quality 
factor. So I hope you understood how to do the connections and how to draw the circuit diagram. So guys, uh, in next video I will be uploading uh, three phase uh, supplies, uh, three phase uh, AC supply experiments. That is star delta relationship and uh, three phase power measurement. That I will do it uh, later. So in the next video I will do KCL cable experiments with the calculations. Okay. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.